Good morning. It is a chilly one. 38 degrees if I had to guess. But uh, I had condensation on everything. It was like it was raining last night. So at some point, I gotta uh, have a little yard sale and dry everything out, but I don't think that'll be a problem. It's uh, mostly overcast this morning. It's pretty dry. Um, let's see. The, uh, let's get into town today. 19 miles, I think, will get us to a road. And then we got a really long drive. We got to hitch like 35 miles um, to get to the town of Lander. So that's what today looks like. Down there is the Sweetwater River. We'll be crossing that later, but we got a good bridge, I think. A group of pronghorn down there. I think I see close to seven, but I've seen a bunch. There was five last night, and then there was two more individuals, I think, that I saw this morning, so I'm seeing a bunch of pronghorn now. There's the bridge crossing over the Sweetwater River. I gotta fill up here. Next water source is like 13 and a half miles, I think. Well, it just might be another overcast, cool kind of a day. There's definitely some weather over that way. Hopefully we don't get rained on. Keep seeing more and more pronghorn. But they're always like a mile away. I can't get a good shot of them. There's a mother and child pronghorn silhouetted nicely on the hill. I'm still seeing just tons and tons. I'll see a group of four and then I'll see a group of five. I'm up to 50 pronghorn already. Crossing the Oregon Trail again. Another one of those days where I'm always going to be right on the edge of getting rained on. So far I'm doing alright. Another weather update. The way the winds are blowing, all that rain's coming right towards me. I'll let you know what happens later. Looks like it's passing off behind me. Successfully outran another rainstorm. sunny over the mountains in the Wind River Range. I'm at the junction for Atlantic City, just over that hill. Very small town, but you could drop in and get a burger or something. But I'm gonna keep pressing. Into some hilly ups and downs. Very rocky. Sitting down for a lunch break, just watching the rain go by. I'm completely encircled by rain showers, and I'm just totally surprised I haven't been rained on yet. Back on trail from lunch. Got a little bit of sprinkling of rain for about the last 20 minutes, but that wasn't bad at all, really. I feel like I'm moving really slow. The last couple of hours, the train's just gotten rough and rocky and hilly compared to my normal three to three and a half mile an hour cruising speeds the last week. It's going really slow. Made it down to Willow Creek. There's my next water source if I can get down to it at some point. Horrific amounts of mosquitoes around here though. I gotta keep moving, I'm getting bit like crazy. We made it out to the little town of South Pass City. Just a ghost town at this point. 
think the history of it is something like it started out as a little gold mining community, never really panned out, and uh, dried out pretty quick. Now it's just kind of a tourist attraction. Done with wandering through South Pass City. We got about two and a half miles left. We got one mile left. I can see the highway, Highway 28. That's the one we're going to be hitching from. 35 miles out to Lander. We're just about at the road now. I've seen a decent amount of traffic go by. Just need somebody to stop for me. So I'll we'll see you in Lander when eventually I get there. And here we are. I'm at the Pronghorn Lodge in Lander. That worked out perfectly. It was like five minutes I got picked up. Uh, I think I just got lucky. Um, so I checked in, I'm in the room. It's only two o'clock. So I'm here like an awesome time. Um, I'm gonna get cleaned up first and then we'll go find some food. I hear uh, there's good places in town just within short walking distance of where I'm at, so that's gonna be awesome. They got guest laundry here at this place, so I've got uh, uh, coins that I need and a little Tide Pod already ready to rock, so I might do laundry uh, later after, uh, you know, after I eat or something, just get that knocked out. So I'll check back once we're uh, cleaned up and uh, getting food this is the next mission. <laughs> I'm back in the room. That was just a quick burger and beer over at the Gannett Grill. Good little place. And right next door to it, those little ice cream shops. So I got a little shake to go. Oh man, it's like 3.30, so it's early still. I feel like I'm kind of torn between just sitting around and doing nothing and starting to take care of the rest of the chores. But I think uh, sitting around and doing nothing is going to win. So I'll just check back later once I'm up to like probably dinner is the next task. Well, it's now seven o'clock. I'm feeling super tired. I don't think I could make it through a dinner. So I think I'm just gonna eat the few remaining uh, snacks and my food bag I've still got left. And that'll be it. I'm passing out here soon. But we got a full zero day tomorrow to take care of all the normal chores. I still gotta do laundry. We'll do the planning for the next stretch, which is gonna be awesome. We're finally done with the basin section and uh, resupply run and just kind of enjoy the town a little bit. So until then, thanks for watching. And we'll just see you all in the morning. Good morning. Today's going to be the zero day here in Lander, Wyoming. I got uh, not that great of sleep last night. Only a few hours, I think. Not due to the bed or the room or anything else. I think I'm just uh, used to sleeping on the mattress and in the woods. And um, first, for some reason, I couldn't get to sleep. But what was interesting is that so right before I uh, laid down to uh, finally go to bed for the night, there was something uh, tickling my leg hairs. So I look down and there's a tick crawling right on my leg. So that was um, unsettling. Had to get rid of that guy. And as far as I know, there's nothing else on me or in my clothes. But yeah, I forgot to mention yesterday, I saw a couple of ticks out in the woods. They're um, definitely thick out in Wyoming. But um, so far as I know, I haven't been bitten and the guy wasn't embedded in me. He must have just hitched a ride on my pants or something and then waited until uh, the evening to... Uh, transfer over to me I'm trying to get in anyway uh, it's a little after 6 a.m. there's a uh, restaurant called the Oxbow literally a hundred feet from the hotel here so I think I'm just gonna wander over there those guys have just recently opened up for breakfast we'll start with a nice breakfast and then I think the first shore is gonna get uh, is gonna be doing laundry as soon as I get back from that and then we'll do some more running around so I'll see you guys over at breakfast there's the front office for the uh, Pronghorn Lodge where I'm staying. And right next door, there's the Oxbow restaurant for breakfast. Well, back from breakfast, that was excellent and very cheap. I was like 12 bucks for a full plate plus coffee. But um, I got all my clothes ready for uh, getting in the wash. I'm sitting in my rain gear, but the uh, laundry room doesn't open until 10. So I got a couple hours to wait until then. So in the meantime, I'm just going to be chilling, working on videos, I guess. 
we'll get laundry done and then uh, I think next text at next task after laundry is going to be uh, checking out the outfitters for a couple of uh, supply type items so I'll check back once we got laundry complete I think ah, I finally got my laundry back I wish I could have started it earlier than 10 but here we go so now it's like after 11:30, I think it's time to uh, go do some gear shopping at an outfitters in town. It's supposed to be pretty decent. Should have everything I'm looking for. I'll show you that haul later. And then uh, we can get some lunch while we're out as well. And I think those are the two big tasks for now. We'll do the resupply run later at some point. But um, yeah, I'm getting hungry. Definitely food and uh, the gear store. There's the outfitters, the Wild Iris. It's supposed to be a good place. Everything you need. Well, that was a successful shopping trip. I spent 300 bucks. I'll show you my goodies later. I think I'm just gonna run back next door to the Oxbow for a quick lunch there, and then um, we'll start working on other tasks. Oh, we're back in the room from a great lunch break. Uh, next, I think I'll show you what I got from the uh, Outfitters here. So here's all the new stuff I got from the Outfitters. A couple of freeze-dried meals, new uh, water filter system. The current one's got like a thousand miles on it, plus the uh, trip through the basin just kind of finally killed it, so it's time to get a new one. New Dirty Gold Gators. I keep destroying Gators for some reason on this uh, trail, but there we go on that one. A couple of new tent stakes. You can see one of them there is snapped in half completely. The other one's got a good bend in it, so I went ahead and just picked up two to replace those. But um, maybe just the metal is wearing down, but the uh, tent stakes, the old ones have got like six to 7,000 miles on them by this point. And then uh, new replacement checking poles. I don't think I ever mentioned, but when Rebecca came to Denver, she handed me this one. This one was to replace the first one where I snapped the tips off of, but this pole is the one that I didn't break on the Appalachian Trail. So this one did the whole AT and then up to this point on the CDT. This is um, the one that I was using for the Pacific Crest Trail and um, it's finally just about to snap apart. So I am just went ahead and bought some new ones there. So right now, I think it's a little after one o'clock. The only other big thing I have to do is a resupply run. I think I'm finished replanning. It's gonna be close, but I think I can do this in a four day stretch um, for the next section to get into Pinedale. So that's as much food. I'm, kinda, I'm, gonna, buy, I'm gonna buy four and a half days just so I've got a little bit extra, but I'm gonna try to do it in four days. Um, but now I'm feeling like full and just want to relax for a little bit. So I'll probably chill for a couple hours and then we could, we'll do the food run here later. Um, I'll bring you guys along for that. Well, I ran across the street to the Maverick gas station. I was just going to buy some uh, snacks to tide me over till dinner and they had a good selection of other stuff. So I ended up rounding out the rest of my resupply run. This saves me a mile down and a mile back from the middle of town to the Mr. D's uh, grocery shop would have been uh, what I was gonna do. So I got these mini muffins for breakfasts, some of the usual meats and chips and trail mix and things for snacks throughout the day. And then the two tuna packets are for the extra mashed potatoes that I had, and that's the third dinner, because I already got the two uh, freeze-dried meals from the Outfitters. But there we go. Um, I think we're good for the next couple of hours until we go find dinner. Since I'm not going to the middle of town, I'll probably just end up right next door to the Oxbow later. Well, it's about uh, 7.30 now. Coming up on dinner time, I should go get something. I think I'm just going to wander back to the Oxbow right next door. and uh, It's a pretty good place to, to eat, and it's nice and cheap. But I love that I've done nothing on my zero day. This is all I need, especially since it's been almost 400 miles since my last zero day, so I'm definitely due for a break. <sighs> Refreshing up before uh, getting back into some mountain climbing uh, through the winds is going to be awesome. So let's go walk next door and get something nice for dinner. Well, back from dinner, I'm totally stuffed. I don't know about you guys, but I had an excellent day just sitting around and doing nothing. We got everything accomplished that we needed to, and we're heading back into the woods tomorrow. We're going to get a nice breakfast, and then we'll see how much of a pain in the butt it's going to be trying to hitch back to the uh, little trailhead outside of town, 35 miles. Uh, may or may not be difficult, but we'll all find out tomorrow. So I think that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.